Tuesday was quite an encouraging day for the Australian share market. It rose by just under 0.6%, which is in itself not a big improvement, but it still was the best outcome that we have seen in around two weeks for the index. And the primary reason for that is that last week, uh, what stood out was the weakness in the banks. T sellers were really targeting that group. But the fact that they've become discounted has made them a little more attractive in the last couple of sessions. So today in particular, uh, they're all up by more than a percent, led by Westpac, which was up by uh, just under one and a half percent. The other factor that was encouraging the markets was the news that the United States and Mexico have arrived at a free trade agreement and the hope is that we might see similar outcomes in the near term with countries such as Canada and China and also Europe uh, could be a potential uh, uh, positive in that respect. So uh, elsewhere, uh, apart from the banks, miners had a pretty good day today. Fortescue Metals was up by around two and a half percent. A bit of a mixed picture where technology stocks are concerned. Afterpay Touch, which has had some breathtaking improvements in recent weeks, uh, has given up some of those gains down by around 5%. Uh, Wise Tech Global was up by 1.7%, but Appen Group had a good improvement today. It was up by around 5%. Uh, elsewhere, Telstra shares are giving back some of the improvement they've enjoyed over the course of the last couple of weeks, where they've risen by more than uh, 12%. Uh, today, that stock was down by around 1%. Oracobre, uh, the lithium produ producer, uh, had some encouraging numbers today, particularly where margins are concerned. So this is important because there's been a lot of concern about falling lithium prices. There's a lot, a lot of discord, if you like, around what prices to benchmark uh, production off uh, as far as the commentariat is concerned. But today uh, the market was encouraged by this group's results. The shares up by around 5%. Blackmore's was a standout with the shares improving by 11%. Net profit was up by 19% to $70 million. But the strength of the sales in China uh, really gave investors hope. Uh, elsewhere, as far as economic news is concerned, a bit thin today, but the Roy Morgan ANZ measure of consumer confidence, which is the weekly version, uh, had its best improvement in around 11 weeks. But that didn't help the Aussie dollar, which was on a bit of a downward slope this afternoon, and it finished at 73.3 US cents.